I had a nice question from one of the students in the class about what does superimposable mean? Uh, I've referred to it a lot. I don't know that I've explicitly ever said it. Um, so, it's a good question. What does superimposable mean? It means the two structures that you're looking at can be made to look exactly the same without changing anything about the molecule. Just all you can do is pick the molecule up and turn it over or spin it on the page or turn it over and spin it. But you can't draw a mirror reflection, you can't break a bond, you can't rotate around a bond. All you can do is just sort of, you know, picture it like a football, right? Uh, an aired up football. You can't turn that inside out. You can't, you know, you can't take the writing and move it to the other side. So, uh, but you can pick it up and you can spin it and you can flip it uh, and you can, you, can, you can spin it end over end, you can spin it on its side. Um, so sort of physical, think about the two objects, the two structures, as if they're just a physical thing that you can pick up and play with. So to demonstrate, I've drawn a couple of uh, uh, letters here, letter A and an upside down letter A. Are these superimposable? They are. I just take this A and I flip it over like that. Well, now what happens if I draw a little line like that and like that? Well, now I can just spin this way, right? Take the A and do this. Give it a sort of uh, counterclockwise spin, and the A will line up, and the little wedge, the little tick in the, the leg will line up. But now, what happens if I do this? Put a tick there, and a tick there. Now, are these superimposable? And the answer is no, they're not. I can take this A, and I can make the A frame line up, and I can make one tick line up, but the two ticks are on opposite sides of the A on the left, and the two ticks are on the same side of the A in the right. Just simply moving it, turning it over, flipping it around, there's no way to make this A look like this A. And so again, if I pick this up and move it like that, I'm gonna wind up with the two A's on the same side. And if I do the same here, I'm going to wind up. Uh, let's. That's really bad. Let's let's imagine for a moment that I'm drawing A's the same. So if I if I pick this up and just flip it over, it would be like that. There's no way to get these two tick marks on the same side of the molecule. There's no way to get these two tick marks on different sides of the molecule without breaking the A apart. So these are non-superimposable. Whereas, I'll draw these in red. All three of those A's are superimposable. Obviously, these two just slide over. This A moves like this. So again, superimposability means the two structures are, can be made to look exactly the same just by moving them around somehow in three dimensions. But don't break any bonds, don't make any bonds, don't spin around any bonds.